Hey, what's up guys and welcome to my channel Aquarium Show and today I will give you a few steps to prepare yourself for your first betta fish. Before I start the video, I just want to give you guys a quick update about the betta fish that I talked about in my last video. I did find her, she's right there. Long story short, she was inside the filter but I'm glad she's okay. So how do you prepare for your first betta fish? One thing I would recommend doing before getting your first betta fish is doing as much research as you can. I would say a week worth of research either from Google or YouTube which I do prefer watching videos instead of reading. For a whole week it will give you an idea of the things you need for a betta fish and how to take care of one. The good thing about betta fish is that they don't require a big tank, but I do recommend getting a 5 gallon tank which is between the minimum of 2.5 and a good size which is a 10 gallon tank. With a 5 gallon tank you can add a lot of great silk plants or live plants and if you do decide to add some living creatures in there you can go ahead for snails, shrimp or small little fish such as quarry catfish which are really good for cleaning the tank and they do tend to stay in the bottom and they don't disturb the betta fish who normally like to stay up there on the surface or in the middle of the tank. If you're planning to buy a kit which comes with a tank, a filter, samples of food and water conditioner along with instructions, rarely will you find a heater. I advise you to look at the filter and see how strong the current is. When it comes to betta fish, especially male betas, which they do have these long fins, sometimes they will get stuck in the filter depending on how it looks. Most of the time, if the current is too strong, betas will lay in the bottom just to avoid the current. There are ways to lower it, which one thing I do enjoy doing is adding a sponge. I would normally add the sponge right here where the water comes out. That way the sponge will lower the current and your betta fish will be okay. This is another example. This is a turtle filter, but some of the filters for fish do come this way. I would add the sponge right there. That way the flow of the current will be lower and your betta fish will be able to swim better. Something to prepare for is feeding and also a water change. When it comes to feeding, people will overfeed or with water change, it will do too much or they will do a 100% water change. When it comes to food, if you're giving them pellets, I would recommend giving them three pellets a day and I would also recommend skipping a day of feeding. That way they can digest their food for the week. As for water change, never do a 100% water change because that can hurt the fish more than do good for it. If you do have a filter, I would recommend doing 25% water change a week or you can always do it two weeks if you have one fish. I do mine every two weeks because I have one female beta and she doesn't really hurt the tank that much. So those were a few things to prepare yourself for a beta fish if you're planning on getting one. Beta fish do come in different color as well as different tails. You will get addicted to them. It seems like a lot of people once they get one beta fish they end up with 5 or 10. It happened to me at one point I had 17 and it just became too much. They're really intelligent fish and they are really hardy. If you found this video to be helpful make sure to hit that like. Also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I upload my next video. I do have a list of videos that I am planning on recording for you guys. I was off for a few months but I'm trying to upload as many videos as I can. If you want a shout out in my next video, write down the number of times I said recommend because I found myself saying it so many times and for those that do drink, take a shot. <laughs> 
Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.